So, how's it going guys? Shade here back with another Infernoble decklist. So, um, someone asked me to look into Ip combos in uh, this deck and um, <clears throat> so I, I decided to showcase uh, showcase it. Uh, for this, uh, for the Ip combos, we have like a full-on fledged Infernoble um, board. You're gonna need Wakaushi plus any infernoble com like inf infernoble combo you know like uh either the one card uh, the upper curler combo or uh, for example any two um searchers like heritage to randall uh, rota anything uh or a certain combination of warriors uh it's not that hard to have that combo you that Way the combo, and even if not, you can just use Wakaushi uh, alone to have the full combo, as I showcased uh, last time. But this is what if you already have combo and you want to make the combo even better with Ibli? This is not the most optimal way to play the stack. This is just to showcase what Ibli, what no, sorry, not Ibli, what Ib can do in this deck. So uh, let's get into it. So uh, let's start first off with Wakaushi. You're gonna put in the pent scale, activate its effect, get Benki, Benki gets the soul horns, equip it to Wakawushi, special, and do the Evilly Summon. You chain block with um, Wakawushi and get yourself a world armor. You'll Pendulum Summon, get Succession, then you're gonna link this two off into IP Mascarina, Eve gets Chalice from the deck, and you use those two to make um, around the floor and IP before you commit to your normal summon and before you commit to your normal place. So um, you need to play extra three bricks with uh, Chalice, uh, World Armor and Succession. Succession is not much of a, a brick, it's, it's, uh, it's a good extender sometimes. So uh, Succession is not a brick, but you need to play two bricks uh, with it. Um, so yeah, I don't really recommend doing this, but this is just showcasing what uh, this can do and how would I build it. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's just because you guys asked me. Then, of course, we start with the normal upper curler place. You just go upper curler, get yourself sparer. You go into Xyz Dempsey. Get Renaud. Dempsey effect to detach. Sparer. Get Renaud. Effect to add spare back. Special summon it again. Get Angelica. Angelica get museum. And now you have two options. You can either use whatever uh, spell you get here, which I like to get almost always, or you can just use Baron to target Angelica, which is risky because if they chain block it. Um, you basically lose uh, Angelica in the process, which which, which is r really, really bad. But at this point, you have one, two, three dis disruptions in the board already. If you lose Angelica and your opponent uses the end trap on it, you can just get Almas and do something else. Um, if you already have... Uh, so, yeah, it's not that bad, but if it happens, it, it's uh, not really that good. Um, so yeah, you go Baron, target Angelic, Angelica Banish, send Ogier from the deck and special summon Roland. Then you're gonna use Ogier to equip and Museum to special. We are warrior um we are warrior um locked right now, so we can only do, do warriors. We're gonna send Gear Free here. We're gonna synchro nine. Then we're gonna use uh Roland to equip to uh Charles. Get the Emperor, Emperor equips Roland, uh, Charles, sorry. Um, and right here, uh, we're gonna go equip almost do anything, get Joyous, Joyous effect, get Gear Freed, and Gear Freed banish Joyous and summon. Um, okay, now end phase, you get the triggers, get almost and Mogis to Charles. And in face Angelica returns. So this is a two-card combo. Uh, you get 
two in interruptions on IP because she goes into SP during opponent's turn. So IP is two interruptions. You get a third interruption on Gear Freed. Two more inter interruptions on uh, Emperor Charles. So uh, we are now on five interruptions. And then we get a six interruption from Baron. So yeah, this is a six interruption board made with two cards. That's how good Ibli really is. Uh, it's not Ibli, sorry, Ib. I keep uh, confusing it. Not this. Okay. And yeah, this is basically the list. Just play one of every warrior that you may need. Um, you get the three museums, three heritage, three Durandal, one Almas, one uh, Joyous. Uh, reinforcement of the army, the one card combo, upper curve plus spare, uh, Wakawushi, Benki, and Soul Horns. I reduced this to the minimum just so you can still have some space in the deck. Uh, one um, World Legacy World Armor, one Chalice, one Succession, and some um, non engine spaces. I only had like eight non-engine spaces after doing some cuts to the rest of uh, the deck. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't really recommend this build at all, but, uh, like, if you want to go for it, I mean, the boards are really insane if they play, but you're just... Um, basically, you're just uh, gambling onto Nibiru, because if you... Uh, your if uh, combo... Uh, gets um, let me just restart this get to the steps so that I can uh, explain my point better Okay, so this is it. Okay, this is where you get the fifth summon, and what you have on board is only IP and uh, a synchro ten about to hit the board. So, uh, yes, this forces your opponent to Nibiru here, and you still have full combo in hand. But the problem is, you use too many bricks in your deck just to get to this point, and still you 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 can get it with a Nibiru, and it's over. I think that for playing around the bureau, Eve is not the way. You can just go Axel, Axel and uh, Axel uh, Synchro uh, the Stardust, and just make Baron on fifth summon and build your bond around it. I don't think this is good. This is more of a gamble because your opponent hits you with Nibiru right here because he has to, otherwise, the Baron comes down. Uh, you don't get much. You get a single token. Uh, and the other way, you will still get. On, on your fifth summon, so uh, yeah, I think that risking this into something like Nibiru is not the way to play the deck. You play way too many bricks, uh, but yeah, the boards are indeed really powerful, but you already can make two card combo uh, five interruption boards really easily uh, without having to run this much bricks, so uh, I don't really think this is the way to go, but for those of you that want to see what you could do with Ib in the deck, this is uh, what you could achieve, but I still think that this version or the version with the wanted are the best ones because you can simply just um, <coughs> sorry, uh, you simply can just um, play w around the view really better, and you don't have to play as much um, like. You need to play as much bricks in the deck, you know? Like, there's not a single brick in this version. You still have Fenrir, Ryzart, which are non-engine, uh, Sparer, Upper Curler, one-card combos. This is this is combo, this is non-engine plus com or combo. This is engine, 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 engine. You see, there is no bricks in here. Uh, every card of this, except maybe Mogius. Mogius, you don't really want to, to see this in your hand. Most times you just want this on your deck so that you can recycle in the end phase but still uh, 
basically there are no bricks in this stack right here and i think this is the way to go there's more non-engine there's uh still one card combos you can still have some ways to play around nibiru just uh i don't really think that going into uh if combos just so that you can uh threaten a bit a bigger board is not uh it's it's not it so yeah well that's gonna be it for uh for today i hope you guys enjoyed leave a down like uh, like down below if you enjoyed comment if you have any questions or suggestions and subscribe never miss any of my future videos and i'll see you guys next time